Hello world, Mike, newfound past. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Wonderful day it is. Uh, good morning, Will, Honda Hangouts. Good morning, John. Good morning, Marcy. How is everyone doing this morning? Good morning, Lauren. Thank you for tuning in. Hope the uh, nine to five isn't getting you down too much. And the Minnesota weather is treating you well. Good morning, Larry. Steampunk Town, good morning. Uh, get my handy dandy list. L, the 24 picker. I don't know why I can't remember that. You're in here all the time. You're a great spirit. Matter of fact, congratulations, L. You now have a wrench. Good morning, Marco. Good morning, Hawk. Cindy, good morning. Money for Mars. Diane, a balmy six degrees in Minnesota. That's just a normal day there, isn't it? Just a normal day. Supposed to get uh, into the 40s here today, but then we're supposed to get more snow this weekend. So the, uh, the, the eight inches of snow we got this past weekend has mostly melted off, but it'll melt and refreeze, melt and refreeze. And uh, yeah, supposed to get more this weekend. So yeah. Hey, Dan, NH guy, New Hampshire guy, Dan, thank you for coming in. Gina, good morning. Couple of pickers, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tara Lay, Tara Lee, Tara Lay, good morning. <laughs> John, the Cincinnati picker, welcome in. Hope it's a good morning in Cincinnati. I have a couple of, I have a funny story about not John, but Cincinnati itself. <laughs> Lawrence, a heat wave in Minnesota, six degrees. No doubt. Marcy, it's a chilly 50 in Orlando. That's jacket. That's like full on. That's not it. You know, here that's jacket weather, 50 degrees in Orlando. 50 degrees is full on down coat weather. I know. Cause I was there for, I, w I was in Orlando for a few weeks before I, uh, was, a uh, I went back when I was doing project management, uh, had to go down to Fort Myers to work on their international, their airport. It's a small airport, but it was new 10 years ago. It's back when I was working on it or God, no, 13 years ago. Holy smokes. Time flies. And, uh, Fort Lauderdale too. They were doing some, uh, major work around terminal changes and sign change out, change outs 13, 14 years ago. And I was in on that project as well. So, yeah, 30 ish in Georgia, cold, cold, cold stuff. Good morning, maniac picker, Craig. Good morning, Craig, and welcome the land shark picker. Justin, good morning. Thank you for popping in. I know you're a busy man, busy, busy. Didn't know if you'd be at your storage unit or not. I may invite a few people in. I'll, I usually, what I do is do the first 10 or 15 minutes and, uh, and then send out a link to invites if people want to pop in and join in and stuff. Absolutely, Marcy. And uh, and then the older you get too, you know, I'm this cold. It used to not bother me as much, but uh, it gets on my nerves now. So looking forward to moving towards warmer weather. <laughs> Thrift Trader, thanks to Justin, my phone is down to 40% and I'm not even done with coffee. You're never done with coffee though, right? <laughs> no, I say that I kid. I know a lot of people drink it all day. I have one cup in the morning and that's it. That's enough coffee for me. I get, if I have more than one cup of coffee, I get the shakes. <laughs> Shop at Ryan's. Good morning. New name. Appreciate you popping in. Thank you for coming and joining and in with the discussion, the chat. Uh, let me see You're 29 in East North Carolina. Yep. Hello, reseller man. Thank you for joining in. Oh, let me here. Let me hand out another wrench here. Reseller man now has a wrench. All you people are good people. I don't mean to say one is better than the other, but I just see the same names over and over again in the chat. That's who I give moderator power to because I know they're not going to pull any shenanigans. Say shenanigans one more time. <laughs> What's that from? A pistol whip you. I love that movie. Good morning, Larry. Hearted Dixie Flipper. Good morning. Good morning. 
cold in Raleigh. Flipping Arkansas. Hello, Jonesboro. My old stomping grounds. I am a Nettleton High School graduate from Jonesboro, Arkansas, class of 1994. Yeah, that'll date me. All the other classes can talk about they're the best, but we were the best. Ooh, down in the teens in Alabama. Cold stuff. You better break out your down coat, Craig. Let me see here. <laughs> John, that's smart, Mike. Have some time to yourself before all the riffraff comes in. <laughs> uh, John's a funny dude. Marcy, moved to Orlando. We can go sourcing. <laughs> Spouses included. I know. My, my wife loves sourcing. That's uh, we make a perfect match. We, you know, as soon as we got the, you know, we didn't even talk about it right when we got together. But when I moved to Missouri to be with her, she was like, "Hey, let's go to garage sales." I'm like, "Great!" <laughs> and it worked out from there. <laughs> Thirty six Chevy. Good morning. No problem, reseller man. You're a supporter of the channel. You've super chatted me. You're a great, great dude. Or it says reseller man, but I shouldn't assume anything. Do I have your name down here? Uh, Pop your name in the chat so I can put it on my list. Oh, there it is. David, I got you. Don't worry about it. It was on the second page. Who has time to turn pages, right? <laughs> uh, pretty much, John, if, if they're in the chat frequently, pump them up. <laughs> thrift trader i'm here to pull on yeah super troopers john john is the winner ding 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 you win a hearty thumbs up and so do i hit that thumbs up <laughs> we just have we we rarely go to the movie theater and when we do it's usually alamo draft house like we we went to alamo draft house uh saturday night and saw uh on the basis of sex the ruth bader ginsburg movie fantastic movie and i don't care what political affiliation you are it's just a fantastic story so, uh, yeah, highly recommend that, but we hadn't seen super troopers too. And we watched it on, uh, I guess HBO. I don't know. We have them all HBO, Netflix, whatever. And I mean, obviously it's hard to live up to the original, but it was still pretty good. You know, big fan of super troopers. Yeah, buddy. Handing out ranches. <laughs> garage sales make for awesome dating them down it's more than dinner in a movie absolutely you can actually make money going to garage sales <laughs> good morning unique me good morning little hook good morning good morning thank you for popping in always great to see new names in the chat holy smokes 36 chevy is heading to buffalo to source in the snow hang on just a second I don't know. Can everybody hear? Yeah, everybody can hear me. Okay. My dogs tend to go over towards the litter box. Have to keep them under control. Cold in Buffalo, I'm sure. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, Marcy. I know, um, maybe I'll put a running list in the uh, description or something <laughs> to know who people are. I don't know. Yeah, Marco, we love Alamo Draft House. We're glad they opened one up here. It's only been open here for about a year. You know, and that's if we go to a movie, that's where we go. We go to Alamo Draft House. Great customer service. Craig, fun to hang out with everyone and all these channels. Everyone turn your thumb. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Steampunk Town went to the movies for the first time in a while. To watch the upside. I haven't heard of that one. Like I said, I don't pay attention though, you know. My wife just goes, Hey, let's go see this movie. And that's what we go see, you know? So appreciate it. Reseller man. Oh, that's awesome. Michelle. If, if I went, if I had time to go see movies, I would get one of those unlimited passes for sure. But I just don't have time for it. Unfortunately. I think you have kids though. You know, keep the kids busy, take them to movies and stuff. Uh, Sean, uh, so how many you got to ship out today? I have five. I have five to ship, a uh, total of 300 bucks, which is exactly where I want my average to be. You know, that's $60 per item average, which is awesome. Yeah, puppy, puppy wants to play there. Yeah, they're less play and more like, I want to lay over here on this blanket and maybe go over, sneak over there and sniff the litter box. But yeah. <laughs> 
All right. I think I've caught up on the chat here. Oh yeah. That's where they started, right? Uniquely me. That's where Alamo draft house started. It was in Austin, right? So yeah. Oh, Cincinnati story back a long, long time ago. I worked for a company, a retail company. I don't even remember the name of it, honestly. And this is when I was living in Arkansas still. I lived in Northwest Arkansas. Actually, I grew up in Jonesboro, which is Northeast Arkansas, but I lived in the Fayetteville area for like three or four years and uh, had a retail job there, you know, just the mall job. And this is when I was in the Marine Reserves as well. And uh, they sent me to uh, Florence, Kentucky to open up one of their stores there, you know, to get all the, the set and everything. You know, they have their displays and stuff, their floor plan layout set up and uh yeah i went to and florence is just a suburb of cincinnati of course and um it was over the fourth of july holiday so i got to sit right there on the on the river in cincinnati and eat some fried calamari and drink some beer and watch the fireworks off the barges off the river there in cincinnati so that's basically my cincinnati story that's the only time i've really oh the other the one thing that really uh I thought was bizarre about Cincinnati was, you know, Cincinnati is right there on the uh, borderline between Eastern time and central time. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, John, but, uh, it doesn't get dark there in the summer till like 10 o'clock, <laughs> you know, and usually in the summer, you know, it's nine, nine thirty maybe, but it, it, seriously, I, if my memory serves right, it was like 10 o'clock before it got dark. So, uh, yeah, that's my Cincinnati stories. <laughs> Let me see here. Yep. Craig's still working on that death pile. Got to roll right by the, the thrift stores and not go in. Let me see here. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what's up. I got my five. I got everything pulled. Luckily, one thing I was having a hard time to find, but I found it. I'm going to inventory the rest of my hard goods this weekend. I got some more bins yesterday at Costco. They were on sale. So I picked up 15 more bins and that's probably not enough. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I've, I've inventoried soft goods and going to inventory hard goods this weekend and get those rearranged and probably find a lot of stuff that's not listed inventorying soft goods i found five things that just were not listed and i don't know why because i know i listed them i talked about this the other day but yeah i know we have some new people but now yeah. yeah john says you're closest maybe 70 miles away from central yeah yeah and am i forgetting or am i right about that it gets dark just like it seemed like it was between 9 30 and 10 o'clock before it actually got dark dark in cincinnati because i remember sitting there waiting on the fireworks going Jesus, it's going to be past 10 o'clock before they start the fireworks. And it was, I think. It's been a long time ago and a lot of beers ago. So <laughs> I used to be a big drinker. I'm really not anymore. You know, I have beer every now and then. But uh, Marco, how much do you pay for your bins? Too much. Um, but I paid the retail price. You, you know, I find these Rubbermaid bins at, re at uh, I don't know if you can, I don't have any up here, but the regular re Rubbermaid bins at thrift stores all the time, you know, for three or $4 a piece, but I'm trying to get more consistent with my bins. So they stack better. You can see this stack behind me. I think, let me pull up the, Oh, this stack. Yeah. This labeled stack. These are the Costco bins I buy. And these are, they were on sale for a pack of three for 14 bucks or so. So almost $5 each, which is not cheap at all, but you can stack these things so high. Like the, I, I have these stacks seven high and that's about as high as I want to go with them but you can fit so much stuff in these and they stack so high and I have them on a flat cart dolly so I can roll them around and move them out of the way and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going with continuity and paying the price for it, but it's, uh, all in the name of organization, you know, and efficiency. So yeah, 60 watching 60. Awesome. 60 of the best subscribers on YouTube watching. So let's get those thumbs up to 60. I think we can. I know a lot of people can't. You're watching on TVs and phones and stuff. I watch on my TV all the time too. So yeah. Summer days are long, John. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of good, isn't it? I mean, I guess it's a makes for a late night though. If you're waiting on fireworks to start. <laughs> uh, I got to get, um, I'm on a list today. I got to get a bunch of stuff listed because yesterday I had to go to the, I ran errands, you know, I went to Costco and stuff and I went to the dentists 
to get the process started for my implant, my surgical stint, what they call it. So yeah, yesterday was basically just a wasted day. Well, not wasted, but didn't get anything listed. So spent money, didn't make any money. Yeah, that's my espresso machine box, <laughs> Lauren. You gotta have. I have a several things. It's it's an espresso machine. I, I usually do just French press with my coffee, but every once in a while I want a espresso. So, good morning, Monty. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up. I know you will. Yep, Craig. The the bins are on sale and stuff. Yep. Like I said, I'm being, it's more about, con I like these clear bins too, because you know, you can see through them, but I mean, everything is inventoried and label anyway, but these stack really well, but yeah. No, I just haven't shaved, Brian. I may do that today, actually. No more beard for me. No more beard. Uh, Monty's got a doctor's appointment today and sourcing after, hey, make the day of it, right? <laughs> Yep, Lauren, I know. I know, I know, I know, my friend. Good morning, Denise. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Denise has a full-time job, so she pops in when she can. She's been a supporter since the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to say it's 9.15. I'm going to send out a link on our group. See if anyone wants to pop in. If they do, that's great. If they don't, that's fine, too. You see here two different groups going. I'll just put it in both. We usually stay on until about 10 o'clock, 10 15, maybe. So uh if anyone has time, they can come in. If they don't, that's fine too. So Lauren's silly nine to five getting in the way of her participating. <laughs> just kidding. I know it pays the bills and your health insurance and stuff. I know that. Marcy iced espresso every morning or every afternoon. Oh, so you like that caffeine. <laughs> I'm the same. I have diet Dr. Pepper for lunch. <laughs> I usually only have one or two of those though. So there's the man with the plan. Hey, Justin, welcome. Thanks for popping in. Hey, I'm just uh, doing a, I had a merchant fulfilled order for Amazon, believe it or not. So yeah. with Amazon merchant fulfilled, you got to do the pack and slip. So that's what I'm doing right now. I gotta get a shower, but I didn't think I had to go to storage, Mike. And uh, I saw one of the jackets I sold uh, is in storage in a box. So I'm gonna have to drive out the storage here in a little bit. Oh yeah, yep. Cool. Yep, I got five to pack up and start doing that now. I'm gonna have to do a custom box on one. So. You guys keep on chatting. Hit that thumbs up. We appreciate it. Okay, I already had the um the box weighed and everything, so I can just drop a label on it and take it straight to the post office. You know, so I don't have to bring it home and you know all that fun stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Yep. Um, this is an Amazon order, so I got to log in over here so I can use the Dymo. That's the one thing I wish with the Dymo. I wish it was wireless. The 4XL. That's true. I would, that would be really nice. I don't think the Roller is wireless either. Is it? I don't think so. Or I, I, you know, I haven't had one, but I haven't heard anyone say it. It was wireless. So it'd be cool if it was. Heck, if the Rolo was wireless, I might consider a change. But... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yep, we can cut this box down a little bit. Oh man, thanks, reseller man. David, thank you so much. I appreciate that. David, he's always good for the super chat. It seems you're an awesome, awesome dude, David. We appreciate it. Okay, so I'm a, I have a big item here, but it's in a fairly big box, so I'm just cutting it down. I got my little handy uh, corrugator. I don't have to use my big one. I just cut this down. So I don't have to uh, put as much fill in it. So this is a new inbox item anyway. Mm. 
All right. Take my little handy razor knife and cut up the sides. Good. Ooh, that's tough. I got to change the blade out in this thing. It's getting dull. All right. I don't know how far this one's going. It's a pretty big item, so I don't know if it's going to be pirate ship or. Well, I am going to use pirate ship, but I don't know if it's going to be cubic or uh, what. Let's look here. Let's see where this is going. This is going to Wyoming, so I wouldn't. Well, I don't, this probably doesn't qualify for cubic, actually, but it's going to Wyoming. So basically, I took that box down to a more manageable size there. I'll get it weighed and to get the measurements put in and we'll see which shipper shipping method qualifies for. Five pounds, 15 ounces. So to Wyoming, that's going to be pretty expensive. Five pounds, 15 ounces. Yeah, not cubic because it's 20 inches, 20 by 15, six. All right, Amazon order is out. Where's that label? I take this to the store, show with me. So here's a good one. I may have to check FedEx on this one because priority mail shipping on this is $30, $30.19. Yep. Uh, they paid for shipping on this, so let me see how much they paid. <laughs> NQB. Uh, they didn't pay $30, so something was off there. But FedEx may be better on this one. I'll have to check that. Good morning. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. How's it going? Doing good. It's got to work and ruin my coffee. Is it a good day in Louisiana? Yeah. I'm about 46 this morning, you know. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think mean, next week it's supposed to be like 29 in the morning next Monday, so don't really care for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some people are like, oh, yeah, it gets five degrees here, so what are you complaining about? <laughs> It's all relative, though. You're not you down there. They're not used to that really cold. But seemed like when I was younger, like in high school, I, mean, I remember days where it stayed thirty all week. I mean, it was more consistent. But in the week, I was always wearing a you know a long sleeve t shirt, you know, or a t shirt, you know, because getting so used to it, you know. Yep. I guess y'all do the same thing up there. I got you know, yeah. I guess wet, cold, and I don't know if you consider dry cold, but I know when you, you got moisture in the area, yeah, it's going to be colder. If you got wind blowing. It can be cold here, and the sun's out, and I mean, you know, like you said, it's nice. But when you got overcast, it got twenty. So, is this is a hangout, or is it live? At live? Uh, we're just gonna go to about ten or ten fifteen. Yeah, we are live, but uh, this is basically my morning pack and ship show. You know, right. I'm packing up eBay orders. And so we're going to live on YouTube right now. Yep. I saw something on Facebook. I wanted to ask a question about it, but I didn't want to do it where, you know, 50 other people heard it, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just sit, send it in that chat, Glenn. Okay. I'll look yeah. at it. Yep. So this package, Priority Mail, would have been $30. FedEx Smart Post is $16.53. So Tell me that sh show last night with Swift. Uh, was it? Chris something, I can't think of his name, TNT, but um, talked about pirate ship. About no, hours, about no. Basically not using regional aid anymore, because I guess it's just cheaper to send it without using regional aid. And B and all that. You got kind of in depth into it a little bit, which was really nice. Yeah, I think it, I was going to watch the replay today while I worked. I, I was 
I'm a, I go to bed super early, so uh, I didn't get a chance to catch it. I think I was asleep last night by 8.30. So. Wow. Well, that's why you can get up at 3 o'clock. Four o'clock in the morning, though. Exactly. Yeah. Oops. I'll be back. I'm gonna pour me some coffee and grab me some pancakes. Okay. So I'm sure everyone heard in the chat this the priority mail this package would have been thirty dollars, but FedEx is sixteen dollars. That's a big difference. Good morning, pick and roll. Thank you for coming in. And of course my label's not printing correctly. I'm gonna randomly do this. It'll freaking supposed to print this way. And it's printing this way. On. Oh, control F. Okay. That was sold yesterday. I mean, that took forever to sell. That's a new one. Whoa. Okay. Try to get this label to print correctly. 70 watching. Holy smokes. Awesome people. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Preferably. <laughs> I tell people, Mike, I'm like, shit, if you want to do the thumbs down, feel free. It's uh it's all the same to me. Like, I don't, you know. Oh, well, some will. I know that for a fact, but it's all the same. It don't matter none. Mercy here. Interaction. All right, I gotta go in and uh I always have to go in once the video finishes processing. I don't know if it's been doing it to you, Mike, but on my morning shows, it's been trying to cram like 10 ads in. So I had to go and actually delete out ads. So it's way too many ads. It is odd. No one says, no one has said that mine is doing that. Uh, so I hope it's not. If it is, let me know. And I'll. Yeah, I'm having to go in and like manually uh, like get rid of them. <laughs> wow. Okay. It looks like they've gotten rid of the classic shipping page completely, and that's where my labels were print printing. Oh, there it is. They just moved the link. Never mind. They moved the link. Tiger Good says, Morning, guys. Watching from the Atlanta airport. Oh, awesome. Been there, flew in and out of there several times. Hartsfield International. Oh, well, I think I may have to do the old, just print it on paper and, yep, and tape it on there. Old school. We're going old school. All righty. Wait a second. Oh, I didn't buy the shipping for it yet. That's why. All right. Let's go buy the shipping. When old school. Oh, this didn't open. It's a page. Thing. All right. I 
I hate that little notification. Sometimes that means a return. <laughs> uh, luckily, just right now, because I'm buying shipping through PayPal, it just means, uh, yeah, oh. PayPal. You yeah. got charged, yeah. I had a return on Amazon yesterday on a, a toy. A toy I had a dollar into, and I sold it for 23 and I guess they probably found it cheaper and you know returned it. That's fine, though. It'll just resell. Yep. And that is one thing. I mean, people you, in the reselling world, you got to have a thick skin towards returns anyway on eBay and stuff. But if you do Amazon, you have to have an even thicker skin because you're going to have more returns on Amazon, just period. But I, I tell you, man, Amazon, like eBay hasn't been showing me much love the last couple, like last week. I'm down like 30%, but Amazon has been picking up the stock dramatically. So thankfully. Yeah, Amazon sales are fantastic. Uh, back when I, uh, I'm going to try to get back into FBA, but two years ago, I was pretty hardcore in the FBA and sales were crazy. What do you think made you get out of it? Just uh, trying to find product. I couldn't, couldn't find product. Yeah. Makes sense. And you know, and what everyone does with FBA is awesome. The retail arbitrage and stuff, but I'm seriously, I cannot find stuff around here. Yeah. There, I guess there's just too many people, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've had the extreme brick seek subscription, you know, and just go cold trying to find stuff. And yeah, it's just tough. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. It's not an easy game at all, but I mean, it can be, pro it can be frustrating, but it can be extremely profitable too. Craig yeah. land shark picker made a good video about the, uh, the downside yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah. I watched that. It's pretty good. It's like he, cause he went to a store and it showed it was in stock again, like what happened to Scott, but nothing was there. Yeah, that happened to me. I mean, I, I drove out 30 miles last week yep. to a store. Uh, so it, sh it was a bunch of these pioneer women. Uh, I think it was like the whatever set or whatever. But anyway, it was a dollar buy in per unit and they were selling for 40 on Amazon. It said they had 12 in stock and I get there nowhere to be found. I talked to an employee like, yeah, it says we have them, but we don't have them. <laughs> like, okay. You know, this is what it's, that's part of the game, though. Yep. But had the stuff been there, it would have been well worth the trip because you're talking, I would have spent, they, let's see, they had like, what, 12 units? I would have spent $12, no tax, because I have my tax certificate. And then I would have made 40 per unit. So like 12 into like almost $500, you know, gross. That's freaking good, right? Absolutely. And either way, I still claim the mileage, you know? So like it, I wasn't really out anything because the mileage deduction, I mean, it covers more than your gas, you know? So, well, Justin, the town you live in, what's your population? If you have to drive 30 miles, well, I well, you know, I have Walmart's all near me. It was just this particular store is what had them in stock. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I have a Walmart like two feet from my house practically. But, um, I just, this was out in the country. I drove out to an area called Powhatan, Virginia, because that was the store that had them in stock for that price. But I'm lucky, Glenn, where I live, I could probably. I can get to within 30 minutes going different directions. I can get to probably like 10 different Walmarts. But. Yeah. I've got the same from me. Yeah. Good, yeah. So Northern, I mean, I haven't counted, but if you pull up a list on brick seek in this area, you have an option of like 40 different Walmarts within an hour. Well, I think mean, that Ridge has a population of like 400,000 or 600,000, maybe 600,000 now. I would have to, I can tell you, let me Google it real fast. Uh, no, after Katrina it went up big time. Yeah, population. Uh, I live in an area called Texas, Virginia. Uh, our population in this county is three hundred and forty-three thousand five hundred and ninety-nine people. Okay, so you're a big town then. You know, small. When you hear some people talk, and they only have like you know Walmart. You know, they got to drive you know twenty minutes or somewhere. Yeah. Of course, where we live is considered. In metropolitan washington dc it's a metro dc area and the metro dc area population is nine million just over nine million now does your wife work for the government i know she's kind of involved in it but she's yes kind of she works for the federal government she's very very lucky and she's not furloughed because the department she works for is pre-funded and vital considered vital but uh I know, you know, on the radio this morning, they were talking about you know, calling the IRS back into work. And they said, well, hey, I had to go get a part-time job. I'm not quitting that job. <laughs> I'm not going to get paid. I'm getting paid. 
I do no. think that I talked about a little bit on my morning show, and I'm and obviously I'm not getting over politics on my, but I do. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful not to say that, you know. Well, I'm just saying I think I think all these people not having the paycheck right now is impacting our sales. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it is. In the neighborhood I live in, you know, we're surrounded by other federal workers, employees, and my neighbors are great, but almost all of them are furloughed without pay. And even if you don't work for the government, it it, it casts a, a feeling of unease. Yep. people yep. so you know it's just I, I do think it impacts sales and not to mention it's january so people are just paying off their christmas credit card bills or just getting them in and like holy crap what did i spend you know well, it affects everything it affects you know the donut shop that sells you a cup of coffee and a donut every morning on the way to work yep so if you had a thousand people stopping there and all of a sudden you only got 50 people stopping you know? yep yeah especially in this area all those downtown dc shops those call like you say coffee shops restaurants they're they're hurting and their landlord saying where's the bill at <laughs> you know and so oh, there it is. unless you're understanding you know all right second one going out i mean turn my ebay on this morning to see if i got anything i don't think i had nothing last night like I said, we're lucky in that she's she's at work right now, you know, so she's not right. she's still getting a paycheck. But even if she didn't, she'd be helping me, and we would just double up on our list, and we would yeah, go. Right. Yeah, I'm down. I'm looking at my sales now. I'm down thirty point eight percent month over month on eBay. Oh yeah, because compared to holiday sales, you know. Yeah, I'm up though. I am up ten percent from last year. I, but, you know, last January, I think I basically took the entire month of January off, so that's not saying much. I'm kind of the same. I'm I'm uh, obviously down from the holiday, but I am up over last year. Even taking 14 days off from listing, so. Yep. Okay, next one. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, John. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody's morning going so far? Good so far. Awesome. Good. I'm going to get a shower and head up to the storage unit, go to the post office, and then get home and list, I guess. So. Don't seem so excited. Hey, man, it's a daily grind. Yeah. Sales, John? Everybody's talking yeah, about Yeah, actually, a lot of stuff I looked at yesterday sold. So yesterday I had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had eight eBay sales. Nice. A lot of smaller stuff. I think it was like a little up to like 150 bucks, something like that. Better day than me, man. I, I get energy. You'll pick up, man. You're. I. I feel like you're about to have like a huge day here soon. I'm sure I will. I think I'm in blackout mode. I did yesterday. My sales was a whopping 47.48. So. And I'm at twenty five ninety nine for today so far. On the sale. You guys ever use these uh, priority mail uh, tube boxes? Every once in a while. I didn't even know they existed until. Um, yeah, they're reversible too. Video about bats. What's that, Mike? They're reversible. But, um, yeah, reversible. If you wanted to send it express. Yeah. Yeah, somebody commented on a video and they're like, you know, you can get these tubes. And I was like, oh my God, I feel like an idiot. I, I watch them up, John. There's different sizes and some of them are flat rate, I think. So make sure. Oh, it's, there are some flat rate ones? I think there used to be. They may have changed that. But, uh, I've got the shorter ones that I use for posters sometimes. Yeah, because there's a medium size, not a medium flat rate, just a medium size, a large size. They could have changed that. I just don't use them that often, but I do have some. What you can do is buy like the six by six by thirty six boxes. The same ones that you can buy them, the ones that open on the ends and not you know like long ways. That way yeah. you cut, cut it down easier. We do that for mufflers here, you know. And one time I went to buy some more, and they it was oh, the, the railway pipe, so it was hard to cut. I 
Oh, I either just had a sale or a return. Nice. Uh, just the guy paying for the shirt that sold this morning. But I'll take it. Money's money. Yep. I'll go ahead. Since I haven't gone to the post office, I'll go ahead and get that. Yeah, that's right. This Ben. I just listed it yesterday. See, that, that's one of those things, man. Some clothing, like this is one of the things I listed during the work and hangout. It's a new with tags, Brooks Brothers. I paid three bucks for it. Not crazy money, but 25 bucks shipped, you know, three dollars and 25. Uh, yeah. Bad. Or like a one day listing. Mike, I was listening to your uh, Cincinnati story. Yeah. And it reminded me. Um, I used to play in a band. This has been probably six or seven years ago. And we got a July 4th gig at this bar uh, near downtown. It's at um, the name of the like little spot is Mount Adams. And it's basically like this humongous hill that sits just north of downtown Cincinnati. So we played and we took a break around 10 and saw just fireworks like all around us because we had like a birthday <laughs> of fireworks. It was awesome. Yeah, that's one of the best fireworks shows I've ever <laughs> been to is that one in Cincinnati that time. I don't know if I, other than that time, seeing the July 4th, the big fireworks show here is um, the WEBN fireworks, and that's uh, Labor Day weekend. Cool. We've got um, Rosie fireworks here. They're a pretty old family business that does a lot of fireworks, and they always provide it for uh, WB and all that stuff. Well, Mike, how far is Bethesel, Maryland from you? How far is what? Is that, is it, is it, uh, I can't find it. It's or Bethesda. Bethesda? Yeah. Uh, not far, about that, uh, 50 minutes or so, depending on traffic. Yeah, I was there like in 2008 for some medical testing. <clears throat> but I remember, you know, walking, you know, when we had time to eat on I mean, it's based restaurants door to door in that whole town. But they got about 200 plus. I don't know. But um, I went to a Duke, get on the um, subway, and there, as you get down that escalator, it must be the longest one in the United States. You probably I don't know if you ever been there before. Uh, doesn't ring a bell, but <laughs> but they got a bit like an escalator, which is supposed to be the longest one in, in the United States. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't get to that area that often, so. Hey, Gordon, in that picture you've got, what are you what are you holding? A wakeboard. A wakeboard. Yeah. Let me see. That's cool, man. Did you did did he sign it? Or did you sign it? Looks like somebody signed no, it. No, he he autographed the, the picture. But um, you see the little the little kid in there. Uh huh. He's like I think was nine years old. He won the sixty five championship in two thousand seven for wakeboarding. Uh no, for motocross it was the Nautilus. The people that make wakeboards and boats. Oh. That was the, that was a trophy. You know that, and they did it about for five years. You know, and some people got you know like a. Sometimes you get two weight boards, you know, depending, you only can ride two classes. Then the little girl is the sister holding the, the actual trophy. That's the dad. Mm -hmm. That's me. That's cool. <clears throat> but um, that was in like 2007, but he won it in 2009 also and all that. But he, then he turned pro a few years ago and got hurt real bad. The dad told him, this is not worth it, you know. That sucks. But some of those guys I met, He's racing against, or like already, you know, maybe a year older than him. They're like two time national champions overall, you know, not amateur, but national and pro champions. You know, that, and that's what, you know, he turned pro. He was a rookie of the year in 2010, I think, or 11. No, a couple of years ago. So he was three years ago, he was rookie of the year. That's cool. You know, in the 250 pr pros. But the top guys, you know, make, you know, a million to a couple million a year. Wow, that's and incredible, all, and all that, and you get the best bikes, you know, and all, you know, you can ride and all that kind of stuff. 
I missed it live, but I got to thank Denise for the super chat. Appreciate that, Denise. She is a one of the first subscribers I had, long time subscriber. So thanks, Denise. It never fails. It seems like I have trouble finding boxes for light stuff that's long. This is like 16, 17 inches long. Man. And it probably could go first class if I can find the right box. But... All right, let me check Rick Seek. I can say it since Lonnie's not here. I'm just I always check the morning uh, markdown, see if anything good. If you find anything, let me know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually wrote myself a note right here on the counter right here to go to Walgreens. I sit there upside down, but I wrote it. Forgot to go last night. Like one that you know, somebody was talking about tissue paper or something. I'm not sure if one of y'all yeah. or. It was, yeah, it's probably me. You gotta talk about that. Like 97 cents a pack or like 100 sheets or something. Yep. And I wanted yep. to stop by there and go check it out. This stuff right to, so I'm trying to do it today, today when I leave. God, I, really, I need to start doing it. I got like a whole, a whole bunch of board games brand new and cell phone. It's, a, it's not a huge pack. It's 30 sheets, 18 right. red, 12 green, and 30 cents, 90% off. Last long time too, but I think it was um I was wanting maybe y'all, but also last night um Marcy, I think she was talking about it and she said paying like forty seven cents a pack for a hundred pack or something like that. Okay. So in this long skinny box, I'm custom building a box. <laughs> you call that That's a bread. box, Mike? What's that, John? Call that a Franken box. Yep, Franken box. <laughs> All else well, is Franken boxes. Y'all Franken box, you know, like the UPS boxes. That's to make sure it's not, you know, flat rate or regional when I do it. Yep. But a lot of times you got to be real careful. You do make it when you put the boxes together and cut it. Make sure that all the writing is kind of flush and all that, you know, not upside down like it's obvious that it's been Frankenstein. You have to the top and go over the seam, and then what looks like a full size box, they don't even recognize it. Add that to the shopping list. I missed your show this morning. Did you do anything wild and crazy? Uh, I, I probably I did. I probably nothing like I didn't know. Not like clipboard. Girl, you know? But uh, I, we talked about uh, we talked about things we're passionate about in life, and I said uh, food, sex, and uh, reselling and video games were my four passions. <laughs> food was number one over well, no, no, particular <laughs> order. no particular order, but. I, I mean, I'm trying to. Re I'm like Lonnie, trying to retrain myself. But dude, it's hard, man. Like eating like all this stuff that has no flavor is rough. Yeah, I have a hard time with that. I'm not good at diets. See, I'm not trying to look at it like a diet. I'm trying to look at it like a lifestyle change. Oh, yep, exactly what I was about to say. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, I hope your wife wasn't listening when you put food over sex. Oh, uh, she probably puts food over sex. Too. <laughs> she just has a good metabolism. Some people eat while they have sex. Maybe you can do that. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know about that one. Jo jo immediately, John never. Uh, uh, he's never going to send the Mike's never going to send the invite out again to us. <laughs> yeah, I like how this morning Mike's like. Yeah, I hear at some point I'll send the link out to everybody else, but not right now. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, that's what people like. You're being real. Not seeing anything great to go. Oh, maybe this guy. I think this is already on my shopping list, though, this particular thing. 
I think I can manage uh, hobbling around. Uh, my foot's feeling better today, John. So I think I'll be able to manage. I'm probably going to, I might fire up a working out later. I got to run. I might run a couple Walmarts and try to get some Amazon stock. Hey, uh, you're, you're just in time. We're talking about brick seat. Oh, good. Trivia. Say again, please. You want to kill it tonight on trivia tonight? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We're going. We're going to trivia. Well, uh, we used to do all right. We won last week. Do y'all have any like rivals at trivia night that like hate y'all? Hell what? yeah. <laughs> there's some people. There's there's just one, two girls. They can't stand us, dude. Like when we win, this woman, like I look over and this woman's always giving me this death stare. She freaking hates me. Oh, what you need to just have you and Candace have any matching shorts, like bowling, a bowling league, go in there, like, you know, well, like crazy type shirts that match. It didn't help that a few times I got, I drank probably a little more than I should have. I got kind of rowdy when we won. <laughs> 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 took your shirt off and did a lap around the bar going Woo! John's actually seen some private video that nobody else will ever see <laughs> it was pretty bad right John yeah it wasn't your best day I got him show up <laughs> my um, camera on down while he's not looking <laughs> so I don't want to victimize myself too much I've built some uh, Resentment. Oh, boy. Mm. This has the sales rank. That is a no go. Yes. Craig isn't even here for you to talk shit to, Lonnie. Say again? Craig isn't even here for you to talk shit to about LSU. I, I'm not going to. I mean, I wouldn't do that. Uh, did y'all win last night? Yeah, I went in and uh, I mean, I, I'm not saying anything bad. It, they, Ole Miss has a good team. LSU was just a little better last night. So, who's um, who's Ole Miss's coach? It's actually a guy named Kermit, wasn't it? Kermit Davis used to be a, an assistant in LSU back in the nineties. Oh wow! Hmm. Yeah. Who's Chris Beard, coach? Who? Chris Beard. Chris Beard? I don't know who that is. Oh, let me look it up real quick. I'm not sure. Um, who's uh, um, Texas, Texas Tech's coach? Uh, who's LSU's coach again? Will Wade. Will Wade. I thought, because I just interviewed Amy and Davey Wade. And for some reason, uh, okay. it was Davey Wade. I knew it was a Wade. I was eating out, I guess, a, a year ago, and we'll wait like the next table over with all the assistant coaches. Will Wade is a hell of a coach, man. 98-97. Let's look at the barcode. Hey, Lonnie, back in the 80s, like Dell Brown, we had a like, when a flare did our school, he should talk, I guess they didn't talk in the car, which was probably illegal back then uh, as far as NCA rules. Coaches talking to players. Probably doing illegal stuff now. Yeah. I don't really want to know. <laughs> FBI had some kind of tapes on them earlier, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well. All those schools were doing it to some extent. All that shoe money. All of them. I'll be back, guys. Our talking sports, Justin's like, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> like you're, you're exactly right, man. Every school is cheating. That's um, pretty much every school is cheating in one way or another. Yep. Of course, only when you catch your own school cheating do you say that. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I mean, I went to when I went to college, it was an NAIA school and they were pretty good in basketball. But we always the reason they were good in basketball because they got all these D1 transfers. Oh, yeah. Most of the time they got these D1 transfers. It was kids that were ruled ineligible for taking benefits somewhere else. Where uh, where was that? Uh, it's a school called University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma. Wow, Actually, I never remember that. My first year, year there, we won the NAIA National Championship. No kidding. Yep. We had a couple of... It seemed like the more common schools that these kids came from were Auburn. Yeah, Auburn. <laughs> Or maybe academically ineligible in some cases. Yeah. Yep. Well, like the high school I went to, as as basketball, back in the eighties, right before I graduated, it was like ranked in the top three of high schools in the whole country. We played y'all a few times early nineties, Glenn. What's that? We played Redemptorist a few times. Yeah, yeah I graduated in eighty four, but I think around eighty two. I think they were ranked in the top you know, three. Yeah, they were good, dude. Yeah, I think the best player to come out of our school is uh, Howard Carter, which played for LSU back in the you know, yeah, mid eighties, early early eighties. So, John, is there anything hanging on that wall that you would never sell as far as collectible that you, you like? Um, there's a couple things. So, I don't know how well you can see it or not, but these are my seats uh, from Riverfront Stadium. Oh, yeah, that's cool there now. That's where the Reds played um, in this, in, from 1970 to 2003. You know, Pete Rose, Johnny Bench, Big Red Machine yeah. played there. Um, this here is Todd Frazier jersey and a right. bat from the Home Run Derby. And then those are our tickets uh, from the Home Run Derby that we went to. So I doubt all. I mean, most of the stuff I really don't like to sell. I just hang on to it. Right. All right, down to my last item to ship. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Lonnie, did you get much uh, replay viewership on your uh, video yesterday? I'm just curious Not how that performs on a bigger channel. Not a ton, but, I mean, hell, it's four hours. It's over four hours long, so. Right. It's cool. I mean, it's got a couple thousand views total. Yeah. The people, the people that did watch it seemed to like it, though. Yeah. Uh, I noticed it, like, right after we got off, there were, like, 11 thumbs down. It's whatever. I don't care, you know. There's some people who don't like me. But then... Between then and now, I think it's only got like one more thumbs down and a bunch of thumbs up. So uh, it, I was worried it was going to be poorly received, but it wasn't. No, I think I think people like seeing like, you know, especially if you're someone that's part time. Like, yeah. I, think, I think it's good to kind of see what it is like to do this. Like, especially like when we do those hangouts between the channels we're on, we're basically recording our entire workday. It doesn't get much more like this is what reselling is than that. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Basically showing all the the repetitive monotony. <laughs> right. <laughs> also showing how uh, what's the word when you sit around and don't sit around all day and don't really move much? What is that word? 
uh station uh, uh i know you're shoot like stationary is a word you could use but i think you have a different one on mine yeah. Uh, yeah there we go sedentary. Sedentary. <laughs> yeah it also but, shows how sedentary reselling is yep a usually it's a but sedentary is <laughs> no i just got auto approved in disney on amazon hell no yeah way. that's a big win dude i don't even think uh i don't even think steve's gotten auto approved in that yet it's weird how that works. Like, how does that, you know? Yeah, dude, that's freaking awesome. Uh, I also got auto approved in Mattel. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Hasbro uh, uh, Marvel property stuff. Wow. So, yeah. I'm, sometimes, man, it's worth it just to use Brickseek to get auto approved in crap. <laughs> I always apply. And then if I get to the screen where it's asking me for like uh, wholesale invoices, I just like. Nope, I am bored out of it, you know. Lonnie, when are we doing another guitar lesson? Um, next week. Okay, the Dwayne's asking me. Because I haven't been practicing the way I should. So let's do it Thursday, and I will have practice the way I should. You mean tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Next week. Next Thursday, okay. Yeah. Is that okay? The Dwayne's been uh, messaging me. I guess he's learning too, and he's he's ahead of you already. So he's ready for another lesson. Is he gonna do it too? He's gonna watch the video. Yeah. Okay. Thirsty. But yeah, you got you got people relying on you. Or or would you rather do it a different day next week? No, Thursday's good. Um, tomorrow, actually, I'm. Uh, Starting at that music resource center to uh, oh, cool. volunteer to give muffins. My uh, first day, so pretty excited about that. Cool. Well, basically, you're going to be a music teacher, right? Volunteer. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Pretty cool. One of my friends I went to high school with, he got a you know his bachelor's degree in music and stuff. He thought he was going to be a music teacher. And he did for a couple of years, but then he ended up joining the Air Force. Oh, yeah? And now he's still in the Air Force. He's in the Air Force band. He's been in it for 20 years. Awesome. When my wife joined the Marine Corps, she was a pro she was accepted into the Marine Corps band, but she ended up going into another job. <coughs> well, she was percussion. I love hearing um, drum lines and bands and everything. Like that's that sound is just oh my god, I love it. I'm the same, and you know, usually I was on the football field when I heard it, but I love the band. Yeah. I love music. Let's see if I'll get it. I'm trying to get approved in breast pumps now. Let's see if it happens. <laughs> You're shooting for the moon, Justin. Yeah, no, that one didn't go through. <laughs> yeah. mm. Hey. Okay. Oops, still 70 awesome people watching. Appreciate every one of you. In it for the long haul. Thumbs up, of course. Appreciate that. Uh, we had Mike yesterday. I don't think you I don't think you hopped on with us yesterday, but on Lonnie's channel, Lonnie, where were we at? We had like 190 at one point, right? Yep. One day. Those awesome subscribers, best subscribers on YouTube. <coughs> so it's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. We have, uh, you know, John in here. Thank you, John. Lonnie, thank you. Justin, Glenn, thanks for joining in. Appreciate it. It always helps the time go by faster, but um, they'll probably do a live working hangout sometime later today. I'll probably jump in on that as well, whoever's hosting it, since I already got my live one in. So uh, 
thanks guys i appreciate you joining in any uh, last minute words of wisdom uh real fast uh I, i'm whoever wants to do a working hangout i'm i can join it uh just throwing that out there i don't care who wants to do it uh but to, to the audience uh thanks for watching us and thanks for supporting the channels and all of our content and all that fun stuff yep Thanks to the uh, super chats today. I got uh, Denise and David. Yeah, reseller Taylor man. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. So, and um, uh, later today I'm going to be uh, filming my sold video that's shifting to a release for tomorrow. So, uh, my what sold video will drop tomorrow. But uh, thanks, guys. Justin, Lonnie, John, Glenn. We'll see you guys later on today. Hey, y'all have a great day. Later, guys. Bye, Bye guys.